Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Ancient Warriors deck produced by Will Roya and PlayingCardDecks.com. All right, Ancient Warriors, this is a deck that was done by Marcelo Simonetti. And like I said, you can find it at PlayingCardDecks.com. It is a United States playing card company deck and it came in two different colors. There's a black silver edition, which is a little bit more ornate. And there is a red gold edition. I believe uh, they printed 1400 of each deck and you can find them at playingcarddecks.com for about $12. Both of these decks are inspired by past civilizations from around the globe and they combine traditional and non-traditional playing card design techniques to bring you a stunning all-purpose deck. There's a lot of metallic ink used throughout. You're gonna see this on the fronts, the backs, the tuck case, all the way through the design. PlayingCardDecks.com has produced this deck so that you could release your inner warrior. The tuck case says Ancient Warriors across the front and then you have a Ancient Warrior right there in the middle. Of course, the red tuck case is red and the black one is black. And the metallics, the red has gold metallic and the black has silver metallic. Does say premium playing cards down at the bottom. One side says poker size embossed finish and that just means, you know, linen finished. Uh, the other side says United States Playing Card Company and the bottom has some ad copy about playingcarddecks.com. The top says limited edition. You have a standard uh, US PCC tuck seal and the back design shows you the back design of the cards. Inside the two tiny tuck flaps, you also have a hidden card reveal. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. Like I said, these cards come from the United States Playing Card Company, which means they look awesome, they feel awesome, they're gonna be awesome in your hands. The back design has a nice thin poker border, and you'll see, uh, of course, the red back design is red and gold, and the black is black and silver, just like the tuck case. Uh, the red back design is a little bit more simpler. The black back design has some swords there and some flower motif. Uh, the red just has more open field, more open color. But if you look at the center wheel, you will see four different ancient symbols. And because each symbol is different, that makes the back design a one-way back design. With this deck, you're gonna get two extra cards. They're both holy men, they're both shaman. One seems to be more tribal, while the other seems to be either uh, Asian or more uh, European. And you will get different holy men depending if you get the black deck or the red deck. However, from here on, all the face cards are the same between the two colors. With this deck, you'll get two jokers. One joker depicts a leprechaun sitting atop a mushroom, and you can see the uh, rainbow coming off the top of his cap, and then it goes over to the other joker, thus forming a diptych. Two images that when they come together, they form a picture. You see the rainbow lands on a pot of gold. Your ace of spades is some sort of holy urn that uh, has a lid and a cross motif. And other than that, there's no wording. Each one of your aces has a motif as well. So it is an object that resembles the pip that they are trying to represent. Your pips and indice cards have nice, big, bold pips that are outlined in silver. And they do have banners that come off the edge of the indice in the corner. You do have an original font in the corner as well. Your core cards are gonna be completely original also. Every single suit has a different set of images. They'll either be tribal based or they'll be Asian or European and they're all from past civilizations. You'll see that they're full color. There's lots of color used. Their skin tones even have shadows. Uh, their hair has all been drawn beautifully. The weapons all have detail and they do have a border around each picture and they are two-way images. Well, that's really only how the cards look like, but you also wanna know how they feel and handle. Best thing I can do is measure them, stick them in a caliper and compare them against other decks in my collection. So 10 of these cards in the caliper come to 2.90. 2.90 is very close to a casino grade thickness, very close to a casino grade stock. However, this is still gonna be the nice crushed bicycle stock that we're seeing come out of Bicycle Now. So they are gonna feel nice and pliable. 2.90 is the same thickness as the uh, Jack Purple deck or the Z-Ray deck that Big Blind Media came out with. It's also gonna be the same thickness as the Citizens deck or the Artifice Black Club deck from Illusionist. Of course, these cards do have an air cushion emboss and they are traditionally cut. That's pretty much everything I can say about Ancient Warriors from Marcelo Simonetti and PlayingCardDecks.com. If you would like to purchase yours or buy both, you can find them at PlayingCardDecks.com right now. I wanna thank them for allowing me to have this deck so that I can do the review for you, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.